It's the OCG Fam Show. Today we're talking about letting your plants make some of their own decisions. They grow up so fast. Hmm. Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? How you doing out there? Seems like things are looking a little better, just a little better. Hope they're looking better for you. Let me know in the comments, we'll talk about it. So today, I want to extend what we talked about yesterday. So yesterday we were talking about using these uh, uh, high phosphorus type bloom boosting type things in your uh, nectar grow and how Scott didn't really feel and Frank too who was there in these videos didn't feel that was probably the best thing and they talked about how this could affect your soil and the life in your soil the microbial life down there with that high phosphorus being not a great thing um, but as that clip went on and I waited I wanted to show it in two pieces because I wanted to separate that from this for and I'll get into it so um, we talk about how it actually affects the plant with doing that high phosphorus in conjunction with the nectar grow or just using high phosphorus as a strategy with some sort of synthetic things and uh, how they felt about that. And um, I, I wanted someone to mention the sound there. Uh, Lola was in the background of this video chewing on an antler. And you get that clunk, clunk, clunk sound all through the whole thing. And I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize at the time. And it also didn't occur to me that some people are watching this with the headphones. And it's real, real bad. And I, did, I wish I could fix it, but there's really no way to fix that. And also, I wouldn't have shown the clip with that sound thing. But boy, this was a, a rare chance of having Frank and Scott together where they really talked about some good stuff. And that's what this clip is. It does talk about that phosphorus thing, but it starts to turn a little bit and get into more of the, um, the whole philosophy of nectar. So I think this is a really good clip. And I'm sorry about the sound, but I really think you should watch it. I think you'll enjoy it. So watch this and I'll talk in a minute. You know, it will do something. There's no question. If you like that taste and you know, we all have our own opinions. Yeah. If you like it and it's working out for you, then all by all means go for it mm -hmm. for sure. You know, but I we don't promote it because we know the chemistry behind it. We know it's going to work, but the plant can't possibly eat forty five percent phosphorus. Then it starts tying up different things in the plant. You get yeah. the straight phosphoric acid in the plant, and everybody knows what happens when you play around with Coca Cola. So when it's tying something up, is it? chemically tying it up in the soil or is it just like getting in front of it in line to get into the plant oh for sure getting in front of it in line because it's uh -huh. totally solubilized and available so like our six percent bone meal phosphorus mm -hmm. versus 45 percent monopotassium or triple phosphate that's 45 percent today right now but it's gone today right now uh -huh. yeah. but it's that's taking it's giving it, up it today yeah. and yeah. some tomorrow and then as the microbes break it down more there's another six percent in a week from now so it's a more of long term faster speed and, and slow but um, and then it just how the plant, you know, synthesizes it internally once it gets it, you know, there's a whole nother map of weird stuff. And, and then you want the plant to be the, the supreme ruler in the environment and what microbes it wants. So it sends out food to feed a certain microbe to make a certain nutrient as the plant needs it versus hitting it hard with chemicals. It has no choice here. Hold on a second. I paused here because um, a lot of people have asked, why is it nectar for the gods, not nectar of the gods? The name of the thing, because the more common phrase would be nectar of the gods. You know, the food that the, uh, the uh, Greek gods ate up on Mount Olympus. And people think, well, why do you call it nectar for the gods? Scott's about to tell you. Well, one we're right playing God plant. and one we're letting the plant play God. Yeah, and we let the plant play God. Yeah. Because that's the other thing people don't understand. By doing high proteins, high calcium, you know, these food sources that aren't pure salt based, uh -huh. the plants, I mean, what, when we put it in as, the plant will absorb it because we've digested, we've broken it down to its uh -huh. simplest form that uh -huh. we can make uh -huh. it into, uh -huh. which still isn't the simplest form. But we get it to a point where the plant can absorb it. The plant will take it, synthesize it, use it, utilize it. And like he said, though, they want this other type of potassium or, you know, this other level of potassium. Mm -hmm. Then they send down their waste which then goes to the bacterial field, the fungal field, whatever is living in and colonizing the root zone, they feed those with the waste of the plant, and then they convert that back into something different and bring feed it back again. So it's okay. this continuous back and forth symbiotic relationship between soil life, plants, and the nutrition we give them. If we're just gonna bypass the microbes, then there's no need for the cultured guys, there's no need for SLF, there's no need for Bigfoot, no yeah. need for microbe life, because we're just gonna bypass, we're gonna tell the plant what we want it to have, mm -hmm. we're gonna force it to have it, and then when it's done taking in and, and feeding back to the soil, then we just flush that out with Clearex, it all washes away and we start over with a heavy feeding again. So it really comes down to, you know, there's a thousand ways to skin this cat. Yeah. 
Our way, we just don't use the bloom enhancers because we're really working with the plant to decide what it's going to take and how. To express itself naturally as to what it wants to We be. get more expression that way. We can always, I mean, you can manipulate everything to do what you want it to do eventually, sure. but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean it's going to turn out good. Okay, what do you think of that? I thought that was some pretty cool stuff. I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm kind of getting a little deeper into it. I've got a little more, I think. I'm going to dig through that, that, um, that video for some more stuff in there that talks about... Uh, deeper subjects of nectar so uh stay tuned i love you and i'll see you tomorrow the ocg fam show it's pretty good it happens every day it's the ocg fam show see you tomorrow